Roses are red, and bacon is also red. Bones are hard, bacon. Welcome, guys, to episode three of Talk Nerdy to Me, the only podcast in the world that nine out of ten scientists agree makes your dick bigger just by listening to it. <laughs> this is Mr. Shibbles. <laughs> and this is Artemane. <laughs> and this is Magoo. Oh, my God, guys. Okay, so the Black Ops 2 trailer, uh, multiplayer trailer, just released, and I've watched it probably... Uh, three million of the three million three hundred and twenty thousand times. Um, that can't be possible. Trust me, I've if watched I've it. I've done it, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I'm watching it right now. I'm just fapping away. You know? So, in other words, I have a million. Mr. Shibbles has a million, and Magoo has a million, and then the three hundred twenty thousand of the people are like, "What's Call of Duty?" <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what they're having a number two? <laughs> I didn't even know there was a first one. But, uh, yeah, first glance at this, I am blown away. I mean, just the way, like, because if, uh, mainly, not necessarily the graphics, but just the overall feel of it, um, the colors of it is vibrant. If you go and compare it to, like, Black Ops 1, uh, all the maps are dingy and kind of, I don't know, it makes you kind of depressed when you play them. I think Hazard was the only one that actually looked good in terms of vibrant colors and stuff like that. But they show a couple of maps here, and I thought a majority of them actually looked good uh, from what they've shown us anyways. Um, and they sh oh, man, like oh, the amount of stuff that they've thrown at our face is like new attachment, the new 10-point uh, allocation uh, creative class system, uh, the new shock charge, kill streaks. Oh, my God. So from all that, what are you guys thinking right now? But not even that, like... The way the gun looks, like the design, just makes it like looks like so much better. Yeah, you know how they make it like I don't know what I can't remember what year they said it's supposed to be in, but twenty twenty five. Yeah, it makes it look so futuristic. Like it actually looks like that's what the gun is gonna be in twenty twenty five. Well, a lot of these guns are actually inspired by guns that are in um, the making right now, like. Uh... This gun, the gun that you're talking about uh, right in the beginning of the trailer, that is an actual gun that is either in development or is developed for uh, future warfare. And uh, it's a gun that you can make it into anything you like, uh, an SMG, a shotgun, a sniper rifle, an assault rifle, anything, or even a light machine gun. Uh, I forget what it's called. It's like the M8A1, I think. At least in the uh, game it is. I don't know what it's actually called. Many of those already exist, too. Oh, yeah? Like, a lot of weapons are interchangeable. Just, you know, take off the stock quickly, throw on a new stock, all that kind of stuff. Well, I don't, I don't know that much about uh, guns other than what it is in Call of Duty. <laughs> but but I, have to, I have to agree with you. Like, just the look of the game compared to uh, just Black Ops 1, it's mm -hmm. just wow. The colors yeah. and everything, it's, it's just, just unbelievable. Just from looking at, like, let's say the first map they show, the little, uh, the, let's call it the desert level. Um, just, like, looking at it, you can almost tell that it's going to be a well-designed map. Like, at, at least that's what I see. Like, it has nice elevated positions, but it's, ele like, open elevated positions that uh, people can't take advantage of. And uh, there's more than one. Like, there's a bridge in the middle in the back there, and it looks fan fucking fantastic. And, uh... Like, even the ones that uh, look kind of dingy, like the, uh, the the one with all the cargo crates on it, it still looks good. At least in my opinion, from what they've shown, it still looks good. Uh, and like, in terms of graphics, uh, I'm not going to say it's a big leap in graphics. I still think it, I still think the graphics do look better than Black Ops 1. But, uh, I mean, they're still running on the same engine, just a modified version of the engine. So, of course, they're going to improve lighting and stuff like that and shading. But, I mean, in general, the graphics obviously aren't a huge improvement but i don't know to me um, but if you if you look at it they added a lot more detail like to the vest and shit like that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like you know where at the first like two seconds you see the guy running up and he's got this like big blue whatever i don't know what you call those it's like the coats or whatever right yeah it, it, look, it looks like uh like a puffy like vest that you would probably wear in like i don't know autumn or something yeah it's looks crazy but uh, so, from everything that you guys have seen from this, like what's something? What is something you're looking? That one of the new features that you're looking for, or or returning features that you're looking forward to the most? I'm liking the tomahawk. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that like the just the look of the tomahawk in this game, 
just looks simply amazing to me. I don't know. I don't know. Like, uh, I can't explain it, but no, I know it's what, just, I know what you mean. When it, it looks... hit the guy's face, it, it like my mouth dropped. Like, no, I, I know what you mean. Like just that it looks so sleek. Like, like in black ops, it was like a tomahawk, like, you know, like cavemen would fucking use. But in this one, it just looks so like sleek and sexy when you throw oh, it. Yeah. Black. And, and then right in awesome. the face. Oh my God. Uh, the, what, what I'm looking forward to is the 10 point allocation system. I think uh, that is something that's been there uh, from the beginning, the creative class system. Uh, and that was something that I was thinking that needs a big overhaul and a big, you know, a big redo pretty much because it is stale and it's the same stuff, same perks every single time. And uh, what they've done here with a 10 point allocation system really lets, really opens it up to you to really customize your character and like and at least in my head the way i'm thinking about it is like there's going to be more than one way to set up a you know a russian class an objective class and like you know like you could have uh, a different different kinds of rushing like uh for example you saw in the trailer um the guy with the knife and uh, just the knife and the what do you call it the magnum um if I oh, wanted yeah, how to, how fast he's going? Yeah, it's like, crazy. Like how fast he's going. Obviously, the three boxes that are on the bottom of the little class uh, layout card that they show in the trailer, uh, they also count towards your ten point allocation, right? Well, I don't know what those are. A lot of people are saying um, they allows you to customize um, like your look and stuff like that, or your, like the camo that you're wearing and stuff like that. Uh, I personally think it's something else like uh, stuff that would increase your speed and stuff like that. Because if you noticed in the the guy, uh, the one where he's running with just his knife and magnum, he's running really fast compared to the other guys with the light machine guns or the assault rifles and stuff like that. So I have a feeling that's going to alter how you run uh, and your fast, uh, how fast you go and stuff like that. But I don't know. That's just a guess. I'm just rambling on now. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kind of weird to know that... Uh... Black Ops 2 is more uh, futuristic than Modern Warfare kind of deal. Like, I thought Modern Warfare would have got more to the point where they would be closer to this, I guess, aesthetic look rather than Black Ops coming and doing this. Yeah, because, like, Modern Warfare is, uh, like, Infinity Ward's little baby, right? So you would think that Modern Warfare would be the only one that would, you know, go this far into the future. But I, I guess you can't really say Modern Warfare if they're going in the future like that. Um, I don't know. I honestly, I think Infinity Ward should uh, take a break from making games. But apparently, they're making the rumor is they're making Modern Warfare 4, which sucks. But uh, I don't know. I, I I like this. I like I like how Treyarch went above and beyond. At least my expectations, anyways. And they actually, by the looks of it anyways, obviously we haven't played it, by the looks of it, they really have rebuilt this game from the ground up, like David Vonderhaar has said on many times on Twitter. Um, like, like they have the redesigned 10-point uh, uh, creator class allocation system, whatever you want to call it, new attachments, uh, and cool attachments, like, uh, I believe it was you that said this, Magoo, um, that the, uh, the X-ray scope oh, reticle yeah. thing, uh, like that looks fucking cool. I like that, and I, I know they brought it in as an anti-camping tool. Um, the the new rapid fire, or sorry, select fire uh, attachment, which uh, which to me, in my opinion, is pretty cool. Yeah, some people say they ripped that from Battlefield. Who gives a fuck? Um, but like, what that rapid or select fire lets you do is like, let's say you're playing domination, and you're going. Uh, you know, right in the beginning, you go, you keep it on full auto, you rush for the flags, and when you get your two flags or whatever, switch to burst fire and start playing defensive. See what I'm saying? See, that's what I liked. I, don't, I, I was a, a big uh, Counter-Strike fan, and in Counter-Strike, like with some of the guns, you could make it single shot or three round burst or like full automatic. And I like that in some situations where like long range you switch it to three round burst and you don't have to worry about holding down the trigger and it's spraying everywhere from long distance, right? Yeah, like recoil is not that big of a deal for exactly. you. Exactly. If you only shoot three shots, your gun's not cocking up that high. Right. But with like full round burst, you most people like they panic. So you're going to be holding down the trigger and then what happens? You 
you spray and you miss half the time. Mm -hmm. At least if you're able to switch it to three, like if it's a gun that can go to three round burst or even single shot, you can pick off the people long range and not have to worry about the whole, oh crap, I held down the button and you don't have to worry about like spraying everywhere. Yeah, it, it gives you more control over your gun pretty much. Exactly. And uh, like that's something that I think lends well to what I was saying, the customization of this game. It seems like they went above and beyond. Uh, well, at least what I was expectation, uh, expe expe ah, expecting, whatever, expecting, there we go, <laughs> in terms of customization. Um, and like, uh, we, we don't know what else uh, there is in terms of customization, like whether or not you can actually choose camo for your gun and stuff like that, because we didn't see any custom camo, at least that I noticed anyways. And, uh, yeah. But also, going back to the, back to, um, how you can switch the gun mode, right, to three-round yeah. bursts or whatever, then you can actually sacrifice, like, say they have a front grip or they have a kick or something on that you can attach to your weapon. You won't have to use that. Then you can use something else and know, and know that you can switch it to the three-round burst and not have to worry about, oh, having a kick on it so when I spray it doesn't do that much. Right. Like hopping around, right? Or even... Um, the one, the one um, attachment stability. I never actually used it, but oh, you mean proficiency? No, no, no. Isn't it uh, whatever proficiency? Yeah, stability. Yeah, yeah. Where it keeps your gun under control and yeah, yeah. Uh, one thing I noticed, and I'm still a bit weary about. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. It depends on how they did it. Uh, if you notice on the little crate of class. Uh, card that they had there in the trailer you notice underneath the primary weapon there's three slots and those three slots are for attachments which to me indicates that you can have three attachments in your primary now i know i know a lot of people are like oh yeah that's so cool but you got to think about it like okay on a assault, assault rifle it means you know silencer extended mags and maybe a red dot but on a submachine gun we all know at least in modern warfare 3 how uh you know, dominant the SMGs are, especially when they have rapid fire. Now, imagine comboing uh, silencer, extended mags with rapid fire at an SMG. Yeah. Like, but maybe it's, you never, you, we don't know, right? Maybe that's only assault rifle they give the three slots to. That's true. Uh, another, or, an, another idea. Yeah, go on, Chubby. Or the third spot can either be A for like let's say not exactly types of ammo but it could be like the jacket the ammo's cased in right so you had you know full metal jackets in modern warfare 2 maybe it's some some deal like that where you know like some ammo is going to give you uh more penetration or some are going to fly further or you know shotguns some are going to spread like shells are going to spread further that could also be something yeah, like too. the penetrating bullets or whatever yeah or it could be you know something even passive uh, uh you know like they would throw in the third attachment would only be like select fire or you know like a something a couple things along that line well um so what i was thinking was either a there's two things uh a the third slot would be your proficiencies we haven't seen any kind of notification that proficiency is in this game at all because obviously we don't know what each of the symbols mean um yeah maybe we, they automatically give you the two attachment and then a proficiency maybe we don't know um See, I've paused it at the 10 seconds, and it shows me, but I don't know. I can't really see too well as what that is. Yeah. The well, well the, the one underneath it, uh, underneath the primary weapon, is your attachment uh, select fire. Oh, okay. Um, now, uh, like I said, I either I think that it's either A, the uh, like you could uh, have uh, one slot for your proficiency, or if it is the three... Um, attachments they might make it kind of work how the uh perks are so in your slot one uh you can only select one of these attachments in your slot two you only select one of these attachments which are limiting you so you can't combo um you know rapid fire and extended bags you know what i'm saying yep so i mean that's an idea that i was thinking maybe possibly and i also noticed that secondaries can now have two attachments I was just about to say that, yeah. But uh, which can be a good thing because you can use like extended mag silencer or yeah. something along those lines. Yeah, I mean the, the two attachments on the sidearms isn't a big deal to me. That doesn't bug me whatsoever. But I'm liking the HUD a lot, a lot better. Yeah, the HUD it looks the, a lot nicer. 
Yeah, I was going to say, like, the HUD in this looks a lot more, like, crisp and clean. Like, it looks oh, yeah. like it's today's uh, standard in terms of, uh, you know, HUDs and, and techs and stuff like that. It looks so clean. Like, I mean, you look at Modern Warfare 3, it looks so bulky. And, like, you look at the uh, the kill feed in Modern Warfare 3 and compare it to Black Ops, okay? Um People with long names in Modern Warfare 3, it ends up breaking it, uh, you know, it cuts uh, it cuts to the second line if the guy's name's too long, right? So it cuts under, like, you know what I mean? Yep. Uh, but in Modern Warfare 3, I could have a long name, the other guy, or sorry, not Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops, I could have a long name, the other guy can have a long name, and that thing will show on one line. And that's what I like, I like seeing stuff like that. Where... I've never actually paid attention to that. Oh. Maybe I will now, as you said it, but... Like that, that kind of thing really annoys me about Modern Warfare 3. It just seems like the text is bulky. Like it just Everything about Modern Warfare 3 feels so bulky like with the menus and stuff like that. When I play Black Ops and uh, just looking at the Black Ops 2 trailer, it, everything just feels like it's nice, sleek, and even even futuristic. All right? I'm saying it. <laughs> but, um, but I like the text they use. The tech looks the text looks like right, nice, crisp. Yeah, the and text they use for like the numbers, your bullets and stuff like that. That's and another thing. Losing I like. and winning. That's another thing. I like. I like it when it's a fucking number. I don't like it. Uh, my bullet number. I like it when it's a number, not uh, a line showing. Oh me yeah. How so you have to. Oh, you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. It's like you might as well just reload and have full ammo. Yeah, like when I'm in in the heat of a battle and it comes up and says reload, because uh, a lot of the times it says reload or yeah, it says reload. But I mean, you have enough bullets in there to kill a guy. Or two right but because it tells me to load and i'm looking at it and as it shows it's flashing whatever and it shows i have you know a, a little bit of ammo left i instantly reload because you know i'm thinking that i'm low on ammo just from looking at that but when i see a number in there and it says i have you know 10 bullets i know i know i don't need to reload you know what i mean you know even what one or even if it says like you have three bullets it takes way more time to look at that line and be like oh i have what four five bullets yeah. Like, you want to look at it quick and be like, okay, I have five bullets. I can use them wisely. Like, just take single shots instead of, uh, instead of like having to panic and you look down at the line and then you screw yourself and you, and then all of a sudden you're shooting somebody and you run out of ammo and you have to reload. Yep. Like, yep. Um, so, uh, another thing, uh, that was in the trailer that we saw was the shock charges. Now, that, I think the way that he threw it, he used it, it looked fucking awesome. Um, I'm wondering what's the difference between that and a concussion grenade. That's and even if concussion grenades are in this game, I don't know. Oh, it, how he gets like shot. He gets like uh, just like taste. It yeah. looks awesome. Yeah, like is it is this going to be like uh, he it stuns him so he can't move at all? I can't do anything at all. Does it blur his just blur his vision? Like I, I don't. Well, I don't, it looks like it immobile or I can't even say the word immobilism. Immo, uh, immobilize. Yeah, it mobilizes them. So it, that's what it looks like to me from when I watched it because how the announcer at the end of the video says, is he going to get both of them? And then he, it seems like he shocks them both. And then he zooms in on one, shoots the other one, and then shoots them both. Yeah. And it looks like they don't even, they can't even respond. Yeah. It's like all your, everything shuts down. Yeah. It, it you can only look around or something. Yeah. That's what it looks like. Like they don't even make an attempt to move around or anything like that. Like, um, again, a lot of these trailer things are set up too. Uh, I don't yeah. know if that was like I mean it's pretty obvious that the triple uh, kill with the unscoped sniper was set up just because they're all like cluster fucked together. But yeah, um, but uh, yeah, I, I think th as long as that has a different um, what do you want to call it a, a different effect than the concussion grenade, uh, that thing m will be useful. But if it's the same thing as con concussion grenade, I want to know what the benefits are of using that over concussion. So. But looking back at the one where it shows your primary and your secondary weapon, yeah, I've skipped ahead where it actually zooms in on the thing, and I guess that's a your the the one in the pistol row, but to the right is your grenade, and then the one below it would be that shocking knife or whatever he throws down, right? The right. one that tases him. So I guess that's your you only get the two, like your uh, I can't remember what they're called in Modern Warfare, where you get either like the portable radar or the flashbang with your frag or syntax. 
So okay. it seems like it's following the same lines as. Well, okay. I'll, I'm gonna I'll, I'll explain exactly what this card is. Okay. So first, obviously, on the top left you have your primary, right? Then below it you have your three attachments, assuming assuming three attachments. Then you yep. have your secondary below it, and then your two attachments, <laughs> and then uh, well, again, assuming that it's two attachments, and then below that three boxes or something that we no one knows right now, and then on the top right you have your three perks going down. Okay. Uh, and then beside that are three more perks that you could choose. Um, but so you can have six perks total? Right. Of course, they're going to each cost you one allocation point. So which means you can use six um, of your points uh, into perks, but, you know, you're going to have to sacrifice uh, three other things. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you, yep. it, let's say using the, the class setup that he has now uh, at 10 seconds of the trailer... Um, if I wanted three more perks on top of the three I already have, I'd have to get rid of, let's say, uh, my Sentex or whatever it is that he has, or the, gr the grenade, and my two shock chargers. Oh, I see it. I'm counting all the ones that are highlighted, and it is ten he has because he got two of those, uh, the Taze ones yes. with the Sentex, three perks, and his... So maybe you're, you're, you're restricted really bad to your attachments because if you put three attachments on, that takes up three allocates. Right. Right, so then you could be screwed over for a perk or whatever. So I guess that works out in a sense, right? And another thing I want to point out, um, if you notice throughout the the other cards that are in the trailer, um, the other three perks that you can choose from. So uh, the top one on the uh, so the top of your perks on the on the right side, so your second set, right, also has to be from the same class. So it's not like uh, I can choose three from the different ones and then. Sorry, like I, I'm explaining this horribly. <laughs> um, okay, so like it has, so like you know, the top one is a blue colored one, right? So your tier, ter, uh, your tier one Turk, uh, Turks perks. Yep. Uh, for your second uh, set of perks that you can choose from your six, the top one has to be from tier one, the middle one has to be from tier two, and the third one has to be from tier three. You get that? Yep. Okay. It's the same as like in Modern Warfare, how perk one you can only pick five of them, perk two you can only pick another different five so it works along those lines right right Ooh, all right um moving on but i like i like how they have that uh the class how it shows up as like futuristic well i'm sure that's just for the trailer i don't really think they're gonna put that in the game <laughs> you never know though if they do i mean that'd it could be, pretty be cool. it could be up for like uh let's say five seconds and then it disappears right after you've respawned if they make it look like that, you know, like when you uh, before the game start, you choose your you choose your class. If they use if they incorporate that into when you are selecting a class to use before the game the match starts, that would be fucking cool. Because then you can view your uh, your teammates' classes as just like while the game started, right? Right. That'll be pretty interesting because then you can look and it'll say so and so like Arnamain, and it'll say what. I, what weapon you selected, blah, blah, your perks and all that. Then you can look at, like, uh, let's say Shelby's, and then it'll say his name there with whatever he's picked. That would be pretty cool, but it'd take up a lot of space on the screen, I think. Now, one thing I noticed about that is that they didn't list um, on the little player card thing that they show, they don't list uh, the killer streaks there, which actually kind of gets me worried um, about, you know, how in Modern Warfare 3 you're able to select uh, killer streaks for each uh, class setup that you make, right? Yep. It's kind of making me worried that Black Ops, you're not going to be able to do that. Sorry, Black Ops 2, you're not going to be able to do that. It's going to be three preset, and it's the same for every class. I, I don't not. think so, because if you look at the HUD, like at the 10 second mark or whatever, after he's running, right? Um, you see what he's picked on the side. Like, above the ammo. Right. It'll say like uh, it'll show like the jet and then the helicopter and whatnot. I think you might have to pick those outside of the game because you couldn't do that in inside the game. You couldn't change your your perks or whatever. I mean your uh, sorry your pack your striker package or your assault or whatever. You couldn't pick that inside the game. I think this is just showing like the c created class that you created outside of the game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you know, if you get what I mean, and it's horrible explanation. But. I, I, I do. Don't worry. Um, I, I want to talk about that uh, 
that x-ray scope gun that we saw at like 21 seconds it's on the uh the, i think it's called pdw s7 mms or something um okay a lot of people are like oh yeah finally this this reticle will now put an end to campers i can see them through walls but i want to i want to ask you this question what is stopping campers from using that gun exactly maybe they restricted it to certain guns oh jeez shelby watch your mic there buddy <laughs> um yeah you were saying magoo what's the yeah i'm just saying maybe they restricted to certain guns like i know you can um i know you can probably just camp a corner with this gun and then just sit there and watch people that run by you and run by you right All right but I guess um, they might have like an EMP type thing, which will completely screw that over. Eh, yeah, probably. But uh, I don't and know. I just... If that happens, maybe a lot of people will be running the EMP or whatever. I have no idea. I'm still the thing worried. I see with the scope too, though, is like uh, if it's anything like the single player weapon, if it's based off anything like that with the same scope, it is. You have to charge up your shot for it to do anything. Well, no, no. With this scope in the trailer, it looks like when, you, when you're when you looking through the scope, or the, sorry, I keep calling it a scope, but it's not a scope. Uh, when you're looking through the reticle, um, you see like a UAV scan go out. So you have to be ADSing in order to use the, the x-ray of it. So, um, and it's not, it, it doesn't look like a charge or anything because he fires it normally. Uh, at a guy through the smoke, he, he doesn't charge it or anything. You don't see a charge meter or anything like that. Maybe they've taken out UAV and no, replaced no. it with that. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't take out the mainstay like that. I don't know. I mean, that's that's like taking out knifing in this game, man. If you take or out, or maybe, the, you know, maybe you have to have a, like like Shelby was kind of saying. Maybe um, once you zoom in, you only have a certain amount of seconds where that that scope sends this pulse out and then it has to take an extra 10 15 seconds to recharge well, before it'll do it again in the trailer there it it pumps out i think three or four times so like there okay one two and then he dropped the sight and then he's, he's prone down and you see it drop another one before it stops so, yeah that's what i mean maybe it only goes a certain amount of times out like three or four times out it, and then after that it's got a charge or something like that well, no, like, I to me it looks like it's going to be a constant, like not a con, like it's going to be keep going at a regular pace. It's going to be like, here's, a, it's going to be like you know, boom. There's a, uh, there's a, a scan, there's a scan, there's a scan. Maybe not that fast. Obviously, there's a scan. Yeah. But like, uh, not, regardless, um, if a camper has that gun, with and able to see walls, and you find a, a good spot. Sorry, he's able to see through walls, and he finds a good spot to sit with that gun, and he can see people coming at him before anyone uh, before anyone realizes he's there. He's gonna have a huge advantage over that. Like, like I understand that might be a perk that'll hide him from that, but like you you know hide you're able to hide from the scan of that gun. But I mean, like it seems like the their solution for defeating campers, quote unquote, is also a solution to being a camper. <laughs> But I mean, if you have that, like if the camper has that, uh, the radical, and then you have it, it's pretty much who's the faster one to pre-fire somebody around the corner. Yeah, but I mean, like, I don't know, the chances of me using that, for like me as a rusher, slim to none. You never know, because yeah. you might want to see the advantage of you scope in quickly before you go around a corner to see if there's a guy there if you're rushing, right? Yeah. It could work like that too, so maybe it is good for a rusher. Possibly, if if it's that fucking huge, the reticle's that fucking huge, and I'm probably not gonna use it because I think it looks fucking ugly. <laughs> don't eat. <laughs> but I mean, if they have like like I don't know if they're gonna have the stalker perk or whatever. But if you're running and you're able to have your same movement speed almost by zooming in, you never know. Just a quick zoom in with just one of those pulses can see around if somebody's at that corner or not. Yeah. So, I don't know. It all depends on your style of gaming and whatever you'd like to do. I'm, I I still think that 
that x-ray is going to be really annoying. But assist the campers, maybe? Yeah, I still think it's going to assist the campers, at least in some way. Um, I, maybe they balance it so it only works when you're moving, or I don't know. Who knows? They might have something set in to make it so it doesn't work if you're sitting in one spot. But who knows? Um, yeah, so uh, I also noticed that um, that boobs are good. I like boobs. Uh, of course, you guys do too, I hope. But uh, I made some changes um, with their, uh, if you guys saw the hybrid site. I thought that was pretty cool how you can just instantly switch between looking uh, to the ACOG version of it or not the, uh, sorry, uh, it, no, the holographic version and the red dot version. I thought that was really fucking cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. How you can just zoom in further with that ACOG they have. Yeah, and like, yeah. Uh, and then in, the, in that in the trailer there where he throws out that little, like, some people say it's a microwave machine kind of thing. They call it the Guardian. Like a sonic beam or something? Yeah, to me it looked like a sound wave. I don't know. It could be a microwave beam or it could be a sound wave. I don't know. But uh, that's another thing I'm never going to fucking use. I'm going to tell you that now. <laughs> but I hate to jump back topics, but remember how we were talking about that create a class screen? Yeah, yeah. I ended up going ahead in the video, and I jumped up to like a minute 17, where it's the guy, all he has is a pistol set for his, uh, for his primary or his secondary. He has no primary set. He has six perks, and he has three of those bottom slots that you were saying nobody knows about. yeah. That looks, I don't know what it looks like, but you just see like an outline of three people. Yeah, uh, so that's why people are saying it's a customization uh, of the way you look. Because some people are saying, you know, you know, the last one there looks like a helmet. The one in the middle looks like, you know, he's wearing a body armor and I don't know. So like some people are saying that, you know, because this class is a knife only class or a pistol only class or whatever, he has chosen the bottom three to give him... Uh, to be able to take, uh, you know, more damage and run faster and stuff like that. <clears throat> Maybe what it does is, like, he puts it to the first one and it, it's like a light armor and he runs fast. And then if he switches it maybe to the middle one or the last one, he runs a lot slower. But he's a, a more armor build or something. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, like, uh, at that point right there, where, uh, the uh, 117 you said, or 115, one, you notice the name of it? It's called Mostly Use Me Blade. I thought that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, obviously, the YouTuber uh, only used me blade. But uh, you notice there in the perks, like I was trying to say there, um, he, you notice how his second set of perks match the same color as the other one. So, like I said, you are limited. For your second round of perks, you are limited to the same tier. Just proving it. That's all. <laughs> yeah. But the, yeah, like you notice uh, at that part, like he's he's running a lot faster than the other people are when when they're. Oh playing. yeah, for sure. He's just flying around the map where he just knifes the guy and then magnums him. Like. Yeah. That's that's what I think I'm gonna like. I don't really. I'm not good at knifing, but I just think it's gonna be so much fun just to like fool around or troll people <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's always fun it'd be awesome that's always fun just run around and like whenever people. you just don't care anymore you just pick that class yeah. it's like i don't care class <laughs> so like among that's what we used to do that's in friggin uh, the uh wager matches we used to get all the way up to the top and then friggin just ballistic knife everybody <laughs> just keep setting them back yeah just troll them <laughs> that's another thing i i hope they announce is like wager matches cod points and stuff like that because i thought that was a, a great system it kept it more interesting like when i was done and bored with multiplayer like the normal multiplayer i went and played wager matches and uh, i don't think i've ever played that the wager matches oh they're so fun man Gun game. That, they should bring back the player cards. Yeah. I like that. Well, uh, we don't. I was looking at the player cards in here, and it's hard to tell if they are customizable. They do look like the Black Ops uh, player cards, and, but um, like looking at you know the background, obviously the background's gonna be preset. It wasn't Black Ops, um, but the emblems in there they are different. But we don't know if if they're preset, like because they look very professionally made. I guess you could say. Like they look too well done to be a, uh, you know, like a custom made player card. However, these guys are the game, the guys that have made the game. So obviously, they are gonna have some kind of talent within making your little player card. So we don't know. 
but it is still up in the air whether or not uh, player cards are customizable. One thing. So also, okay, good morning. Uh, one yeah. thing I noticed though is um, <clears throat> at 55 seconds, right? He destroys a kill streak, and if you look at the right side, his point meter thing doesn't go up, which means destroying kill streaks in this game will not go towards your point streak. Which also makes me think my kill streak kills will not go towards my kill streak, which means there's going to be no stackable kill streaks in this. And, and if you don't know what I'm stackable, uh, what stackable kill streaks I mean, uh, by stackable kill streaks, what I mean is, um, so like you know how in Modern Warfare 3 I get a predator missile right, and I shoot it down, it kills two people, and that'll get me my helicopter. Then I shoot up my helicopter, and it'll that will get me you know, enough kills to get me to my Reaper. Uh, and it looks like in this game it's going to be exactly like Black Ops, where, uh, one, your kill streaks kills won't count towards your kill streak, and two, unfortunately, destroying kill streaks won't count towards your kill streak, which actually really sucks because it encourages people to play, uh, you know, to take down air support and stuff like that. So, I don't know. I think that's, I, I think that really sucks if that's the case. I think you're still going to take down the air support, though, because if not, you're going to die to it. Well, I mean, like, uh, like, like if you played, um, let's say, uh, Modern Warfare 2, not a lot of people took down air support. Like, not, not even a lot of people took down, well, not, a, yeah, not a lot of people in Black Ops took down air support because there was no reason to do it. If I just went inside and just waited, there was no reason for me to take down the air support. I guess that's true. I mean, the only time I ever got shot out of a a, a, a chopper gunner was when I was in my second one. <laughs> so <laughs> when and, they had enough. <laughs> yeah, and and like it's not even my like yeah, it's my second one, but it's also Shelby's second one. Okay, well, I'm using him as example. Uh, other people in my team, uh, and then it's your second one, and then it's my second one, and then they're like, okay, fuck it, I'm gonna take this thing down because we're getting smashed. Like it, it's not often in Black Ops I got taken out of my chopper gunner but in modern warfare 3 the second i'm up there my ac 130 i'm already locked on i'm kind of curious if they bring back dogs but with like some kind of futuristic twist yeah it, um they are uh, the dogs are pretty much confirmed in there because if you notice on the right side you'll see a dog icon on one of the kill streaks maybe it's like an armored dog or something <laughs> uh, i don't know i honestly think it's just going to be dogs a dog with laser beam eyes. That's that's where it should be. <laughs> That'll be awesome. It was like a a dog with like a metal helmet on it, and he shoot lasers from his eyes or something like that. Oh, that'd be pretty funny. I think on yeah. like okay, remember in the campaign trailer, they had horses. Do you remember that? Yes. For Black Ops Two, I think they should have just got rid of the dogs and replaced it with horses. That's what I think. <laughs> attack horses. Yes, attack horses. You know how awesome that would have been. <laughs> That would be pretty cool. <laughs> oh man, attack horses with death machines attached to the sides, like mini guns, and yes. you just hop on it. <laughs> That'd be so cool. I, I would love to see death machine as an actual kill streak, though, rather than yeah. getting it from the care package. Like uh, the only way to get care package or to get death machine is from a care package in Black Ops. It would be kind of cool to see it as an actual kill streak. You just kind of uh, either it drop from a care package, like you able to call in, uh, specifically call in the the death machine, and it drops from a care package. Unless, I don't know, he magically pulls one out of his side pocket and you can, like, you know, like, because that makes total sense, right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, and it looks, you know what I, I actually really am excited for is the fact that, it, by the looks of it, quick scoping is coming back to Black Ops 2. Just, uh, just from the trailer, the, uh, the one sniper shot where he kind of zooms in and he was able to get right on target right away rather like because if you guys remember and i don't know if you guys remember but i mean sure a lot of the subscribers are, uh that are listening remember when black ops came out sniping was so hard like it was literally impossible to quick scope you had to actually hard scope and hold your breath to get a shot in because wow. uh they've made it so like the first couple seconds it's a complete offset before it actually sets it um for your, uh, like, Dan, there was no aim assist or anything like that. But apparently in this one, there's no aim assist for the first, like, one second or something, or even less than that. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what uh, David Von Har said. But that's pretty much how they're going to be doing it. So it's not going to be as easy as quick scoping is in Modern Warfare 3. Because I think Modern Warfare 3 doesn't have 
it has aim assist like right on there right away. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, I don't know. When we played with the the quick scoping when we were doing it the other day, I thought that was hella fun. Just how you didn't think you were actually going to kill the guy and then you kill him. Yeah. It just, I don't know. It makes, I can't, it makes you smile kind of like just gives you enjoyment. Yeah. That knowing, oh, this guy's going to watch my kill cam and I didn't even zoom in. I just quick scoped him. But I think I think that it's like I, I, to me, in my opinion, like as fun as quick scoping and trick shotting is, I think that it's bullshit. Like, I mean, like for it to be that easy in not only Modern Warfare Two but Modern Warfare Three to go and just quickly not even zoom in and just shoot someone and get it. Yeah. I'm going to say a high percentage of the time, I'm going to say 80 if you're talented, probably even higher if you're really talented, if you're an optic. Um, like for me, I get it like 60, 60, uh, 65% percent of the time, <laughs> but, uh, on target. Right. <clears throat> and it's, it's stuff like that. It really infuriates me because one, it's not, so, I, I want to say it's not meant to be used like that. Like that's not how you use a sniper in real life, but, um, I don't know. I, I just I just feel like when I die from a sniper who quick scope me it's 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 annoying, you know what I mean? So I like how Black Ops decided or Black Ops two decided to make it so it's there, but it's gonna be a tiny little bit uh, a tiny bit harder to quick scope than it is in Modern Warfare Three. So But it's annoying when you get killed by it, but when you kill somebody like that it's not annoying. <laughs> no, yeah, you feel like a king of the world. But that's why I usually don't exactly. do it. <laughs> Like I like it is a hell of a lot easier, and everyone can agree with me to, to quick scope in Modern Warfare Three than it is to quick scope in Black Ops. So, yeah. So but uh, both of you guys, what is your first impression on that? The rocket launcher. Wait, uh, which one? The one with like the purple like, HUD just screen? Just taking down the the dragon fire, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, the one with the like the purple HUD screen, whatever. Yes. What is your first impression on that? Uh, it's it's a vehicle lock on rocket launcher, whippy fucking do. <laughs> yeah, it. it's the same as the Strela three or any of those. The freaking. But I mean, stinger. you think all of them are gonna be like that? Maybe like, not. Have a thing like that instead of maybe not that in fancy. like Modern Warfare three where. It's just an you iron have sight. to play w- where you have to play with sound, and you have to hear the beep, 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 beep yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of seeing the actual blue or whatever color it is turn to purple or to red. Sorry. Well, I'm. Sh- I don't know so if you know ha- it's locked on. I don't know if they all have that HUD, but I'm, I mean, they're, they're all. Gar- they're, they're, I'm pretty sure they're going to have the uh, the free range, or you ha- you don't have to lock on. I'm sure they're going to have the the area lock on. I'm sure they're going to have a vehicle lock on. Maybe not a purple HUD. I'm pretty sure they'll probably have a HUD. Maybe some of them will have iron sight. We don't know, but uh, I hope they all have some kind of cool HUD looking like that. Yeah, I don't. I don't like that the one where it's just iron sight and all you hear. You have to listen for the beeping. Like, I don't yeah. know. I just that's what I don't like. <clears throat> so yeah, um, at the end. The, the very last part of the trailer after they do the whole you know the future is black that really racist thing that they say uh it shows uh a little bit of looks well looks like shout casting from hashro um with multi-team team death match going and oh how you can see the scores at the top 23 23 22 yeah so uh, what it looks like is they made its uh theater mode cater a lot towards the uh, MLG um, or the competitive scene of uh, for Call of Duty because if you notice like they has the scoreboard for all three teams at the top it has the person they're viewing and their name and what team they're on in the bottom left and uh, that's like something I'm really excited for like I think at least in terms of YouTube not only just like YouTube but of course you know in the MLG scene and all that stuff but I mean I think that'll be really fun to uh so this is pretty much like spectator mode, I would assume. Yeah, it's, it's, that's what it is. It's spectator mode, but they've made it look really, you know, cool. So you always know what's going on. You don't have to hit select. You you know who you're viewing and what team they're on. I think it looks freaking cool. I like the idea of it. And I hope that uh, from this, you'll see more competitive videos on YouTube and all that stuff. That's what I'm hoping for. 
Uh, yeah. Also, I heard there's a, a rumor. This is just way, 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 way out there. That um, or uh, but you'll be able to stream uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2 onto the internet while you're playing. Like, and uh, we don't know if it's PC only or if this will apply to your console as well. But I really hope that's true. If if that's true, I'll be streaming a lot. <laughs> What do you mean, like a built-in streaming type yes, thing? Yes, it'll, it'll be a built-in streaming within the game. So, like, you just go to the lobby and you can click on, like, Arnamain and then just click Spectate. Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. And then and then just watch it in your point of view and with and it'll have, like, that HUD at the top where it'll show, like, the scores and whatever. Now, see, I don't know if it means stream theater mode or can you stream live. Like, I can just go hop in a uh, Call of Duty Team Deathmatch lobby and click stream and then it just streams me while I play yeah because I think that'll be really cool to do that but everyone knows that theater mode has something to do with the poor hit detection in black ops and if they're gonna be allowing you to stream from the game like if on the coding within the game as well as on top of theater mode that might affect the uh, the hit detection even more. I really hope that they perfect hit detection in this game. Like, because... But they're going to need to put a delay on. If you're able to stream, they're going to have to put a delay on it. Oh, yeah. Because if not, people are just going to ghost the hell out of everybody. And just say, oh, he's right here. He's right there. Well, I mean... Like... I guess that's... That, yeah, yeah, you're right. But I mean, like, that's to me, that's not too much of a problem. I mean, I'll trash all I mean, anybody you're... that comes at me. But I mean, <laughs> you're telling me if some you're playing like a group of friends, and all of a sudden they know where you are every single time, and they're dropping you every single time, you're not going to get mad. Sure, you could be quicker than them, but they can they can say, "Oh, uh, Arnamain is running down this way," and they can flank you, and you won't even know. Well, like I said, I do want that delay, but I still think that, like, maybe from a larger YouTuber's per, uh, point of view, that's a big deal. But, I mean, those guys uh, stream all the time on YouTube. They're used to it. Like, they, they're always up against subscribers and people who hate them, people who love them. It's, like, when you stream it's and you're playing with people that are subscribed to you, it's, to me anyways, it's more about having fun, playing for the win, and, and stuff like that. So, I don't know. But a lot of them, I guarantee you, put a delay on their stream. Oh, yeah, probably. I mean, like, I don't know. Because I, 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 I know from other games I play, uh, I've played, uh, some of the games have, like, a map built in at the bottom corner, like a mini-map. And they've had to put their camera on top of that mini-map as well as their delay. So people couldn't see that mini-map and say, oh, I know where he is. But, like, in, in, in a TDM setting... That doesn't affect me that much. To be honest, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But maybe if I'm playing Search and Destroy or something along those lines of, of game yeah. where it's actually... Or Domination, like where you have to... You could be, um, whatever, hiding, protect, defending the flag. Yeah, like, uh, I would say it's something more along the lines of a stronger objective. Because, like, to me, TD, uh, Domination isn't that strong of an objective game. But, Unless uh, you're defending, you could be defending like, one of the flags, right? But I mean, if, especially but if you're I mean, playing I mean, compared, competitive or whatever. I mean, compared to the other objective games that are out there, such as Sabotage oh, yeah. and Search and Destroy and Demolition. Well, maybe not so much Demolition, but uh, like do, uh, Domination isn't that big of a deal to me. It's still to me, it's TDM with an objective. I, yeah. I know that sounds horrible, but I mean, like I still play the objective. But I mean, like. Uh, on, on a lot of people take advantage of it too and just rack up the kills in that yeah but anyways i think we're getting off topic <laughs> uh i'm yeah, but long story short we're all excited for the new uh, theater <laughs> mode and uh multi-team team death match that's what i actually really wanted to talk about was the multi-team team death match shelby mr shibbles are you still there i am still here awesome <laughs> what do you think of multi-team team death match I think it's going to be pretty much exactly the same as, uh, what's it called? Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 2. Oh, like the squad team deathmatch? Like, squad team deathmatch. So you think it's going to be... Pretty much the same thing. You think it's going to be like 4v4v4 or... Yeah. 
4v4v4 four 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 is probably my best bet. You don't think 6 for 6 for 6? No, because that would be way too much. That yeah. would be for call, way bigger mean? than you, ground you have, war. You have your 9 versus 9. That's 18. 6 versus 6 versus 6 is 18. Who knows? You might have a ground war multi-team team deathmatch. Yeah. Yeah. But still, if you put six, it's still eighteen. It equals to your ground war nine versus nine, right? Yeah. So you never know. You might have a four v four v four and a six v six v six. So. Yep. I mean that makes a lot of sense to me, right? Because you got uh, four eight twelve, so that's the normal six v six, right? Yep. Uh, and then you got your. Six v six v six, which is your normal nine versus nine ground wars. Yep. It makes a lot of sense to me. Um, Maybe it's two different modes. That's what I'm. I could be thinking, yeah. I, I'm glad they didn't make it any larger than uh, three. I think four would be a clusterfuck. If the, if it was four teams. Oh yeah, for sure. Not to mention, this is a new game type. It's uh, you know pretty much they're experimenting with it, and uh, it just seems like going from like just going all out there for a Call of Duty game that isn't really based or built for a multi-team game like that. I think doing it, taking one step at a time, and doing a three, t uh, th uh, sorry, uh, you know, a three-team, multi-team team deathmatch. That's a lot of teams. <laughs> uh, in one sentence, uh, it's a, the, the right thing to do. And I don't know. That's my opinion. It's beautiful. I like boobs. I think they need to make a new, like, uh, a new match type where it could be like a. I don't know what you would call it, but. You know, it could be some really narrow map. Like, literally, it's just straightforward head-on. And we're going to have, like, an objective, like a piece of something in the middle, like a bridge, for example. Pretty much you got to rush to hold the bridge kind of thing. Mm. And just keep rushing one another. And whoever is, you know, rushing the other side is, you know, winning. There. Oh, excuse me. Uh, there have been talks about other game modes. A lot of them sound very, like, out there. You know what I'm saying? Like... It sounds very... I can't remember what they're called or what they are. Uh, I did do a video talking about them, so if you want to go check them out, you can go check them out. But uh, not right now, whoever's typing. <laughs> I'm not. Um, they just sound very out there for uh, a Call of Duty game. It sound, like, sorry, let me rephrase that. It sounds very out there for a Treyarch game. When I say out there, I mean weird. Uh, I can see Modern Warfare 3 doing something stupid like that. but uh, Or Infinity Ward, sorry. Um, but I, yeah, I do hope there's more than just multi-team uh, multi-team team deathmatch for new game types. I hope to see, uh, of course, many returns such as Kill Confirmed. I would love to see Team Defender. Uh, Drop Zone would be cool. Um, Infected, I don't know. Infected was for me was good for the first week it came out, and after that, it was just like not fun anymore. But are you thinking of like um, like King of the Hill, Shelby? No. Like where you got to go to a certain area and hold down that area? No. But like in a more that, narrow type map? Yeah, that would almost be like headquarters though in a sense really if you think about it. It would. It's just one area and everyone's fighting for that one area. Yeah. Yeah, that's more or less but like they sabotage. Could, they, might, they might do that but like, with a, like he was saying, like a narrow type map. You, you know what I like seeing though is TDM with an objective. So like Kill Confirmed, like Team Defender. That's what I want to see more of. Maybe a different variety of it. Or even um, taking games like Search and Destroy or Sabotage and doing the same thing they did with TDM, adding a twist to it. You know, like, uh, I don't know, let's, let's say, for example, I don't know, I'm running out of fucking ideas here. <laughs> um, let's say, uh, let's take Team Defender. Um, so let's, uh, like, let's say you have a flag, okay? The only way your team can score points is if your team's holding that flag. So rather than like uh, how like Team Defender right now is, I think this is a horrible example, but I'm gonna I'm gonna continue on. <laughs> like Team Defender right now is, you can keep scoring points even if your team doesn't have the, the the flag. But if you have the flag, your team scores double. I think I think it would be a lot better if they did it so your team only scores points if your team has the flag. Now nah, that wouldn't work in a Call of Duty world. I don't know. I'm gonna shut up and let you guys talk. I think that would actually work though. That's like the thing, if, though. If like, the flag, if the flag is just sitting there unattended, then nobody gets points. 
but that would kind of drag the friggin the hell out of the game. Yeah. People just wouldn't pick it up and go for that's why like crazy crazy kill games. That's right? why I stopped it. Like if no one if, if no one decides to pick up the flag or no one can pick up the flag, it's just gonna then be, one be of a hard or a lot of boosting. Yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of going for kills, not playing the objective. At least with uh, Team Defender, you're able to pick up uh, double points. So that's why I shut up and stopped talking about <laughs> it because halfway through it, I realized it was a stupid idea. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I I hope to see more game modes. I he, I hope to see more uh, unique styles. Like and I'll, like I said, some of the ones that were quote leaked unquote uh, they sounded cool, but at the same time, it doesn't sound very Treyarchish. It sounded like in Infinity Wardish. But uh, there was an article, a, a, apparently a very reliable reliable article that stated that there is no second chance. No final stand, whatever you want to call it, and no undermounted grenade launchers. So it's all dualized round of applause. I know this is probably not premature because the game's not out. I don't know if the but... undermounted uh, grenade launchers would be, but I really hope they get that uh, final stand or whatever it is so, out of there. We're all right now going to do a premature round of applause, um, and then of course we'll do another round of applause when uh, they announce for sure that there's no undermounted grenade launcher or no last stand so here we go <laughs> okay that was pretty gay <laughs> Shelby didn't clap unsub uh, <laughs> alright so the final topic of today's podcast since the last hour of it has been about Black Ops 2 but you gotta expect it with a trailer coming out and uh, we you know we all wanna sink our teeth into it is why is our podcast not on iTunes yet? It's quite simple. Um, laziness? <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not laziness. It's um, no one wants to fork over the thirty dollars that we need to upgrade our Podbean subscription to allow us to upload the file size that we require. What is that? Um, Podbean. Pod, pod. Yeah. Okay. So Podbean.com. Is what you use to upload you like you use you upload your podcast to Podbean, and that Podbean will upload it to iTunes for you. You get what I'm saying? This is a nice, easy tool. Blah blah blah. I'm sure there's free ones out there, but I want to use Podbean. So all you. But can people download it for free? Is that what they can for iTunes? They download it for free, yes. or do they have to pay? Oh, uh, iTunes, you download it for free. Okay. It's just with Podbean, the free version that we have only allows us to do like five megabytes and when we do an hour-long podcast it's like 50 megabytes or something i can't remember off the top of my head i could look but again i'm lazy <laughs> and uh because of that that's why we are not on itunes yet so hopefully in the future we will be uh on itunes um if you want to donate money to me you can message me on to me on my youtube channel I had to say that very quietly. No, I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. Don't donate money to me. Donate money to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna shut up now. Uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Black Ops 2 uh, thoughts and opinions talk nerdy to me podcast episode three. It is me, Arnamain, and then Mr. Shibbles as well as Magoo. We don't know where the fuck Mindless Link is. He pulled the Shelby on us, <laughs> so. Um, hey, 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 fuck you. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's cover that. Let's cover that. Where the fuck were you last week, bro? I fell asleep. You fell asleep. You fell and asleep. I had dreams too that sleep. did not involve you. No, 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 no. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Because if you fell asleep, okay, which means you were in your house, which means you had Wi Fi, your tech, uh, my text messages to you, or sorry, my, my iMessenger messages wouldn't have come back as a text message, which means you were out. Oh. Oh, no, wasn't. You were out, sir. I, I messenger doesn't lie. But I wasn't out. That's the thing. That's weird. All right. Well, since you don't want to admit to your lie, we are going to end the podcast right now. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Talk Nerdy to Me. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Later. Joey, this is what you say later, too. Oh, right. Bye.